Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to manage your users in Office 365 using PowerShell. So you might have seen other demos where I've gone into the admin center, added a user, or done a bulk import on multiple users from a CSV file. But now I'm going to do the same thing with PowerShell. The first thing you need to do is download the Azure AD, the AD management tools. So I'm going to search for that. I'm going to manage Azure AD with PowerShell. And we should find a recent 2016 article from MSDN, which gives you the links to the download. And here is the link, the Azure Directory Connection download page. They keep changing the name of these things, but Azure Active Directory Connection. That's the latest one. And there are two versions, the general availability and the preview. I'm going to go with the preview version there. And I'm going to save that and then run it. And that's rather fast now. And now that's installed, I can go ahead and run the PowerShell commands. So I'm going to do that using PowerShell, of course. I'm going to use the ICE, Integrated Scripting Environment. I'm going to run that as an, as an administrator. Now to connect to Azure AD, an Office 365 user accounts, I'm going to use the connect MSOL service. I'm going to run that by pressing F8. And then I get to log in. And now I'm logged in. And then I can run commands like the get MSOL user which shows me all the existing users. I can also uh, run the command to see what, what licenses are available in my tenancy. So I'm going to use the get msol account SK, SKU. And that shows me that I have this, the KDemo 9 Enterprise Premium. That's the only type of license I have available. So now I can create a new user. And I need to let's start with the licensing. This is the one they want. I also need to supply the uh, country. When I supply a license, it's connected to the country. So I'll connect the country SC for Sweden. And then I need to provide the usual properties of a user. For example, the display name, John Smith. The first name, John. Last name, Smith, uh, and the principal name. That would be John, and the whole domain name. And that should be it. So let's run that now, pressing F8. Usage location, not country. Let's change that. All right. So not country, usage, location. There we go. Let's try it again. F8. And there you go. John Smith was created and is licensed. And there's his temporary password. So that concludes this demo on how to get started creating new users with PowerShell and Office 365 and Azure AD. Thank you for watching this demonstration.